I have a dog. You know, and Buddy knows it. Be, hey, Buddy, or, wait, where's that apple? <laughs> um, so, energy is amazing. But angiogenesis, in, in a nutshell, and, and I'm not a doctor, with full disclosure. I'm not even a mechanical engineer, but I have a piece of paper that says I have a degree. I haven't used it, I don't even know where it is. Um, angiogenesis, you cut yourself a scab form, that's angiogenesis. Blood vessels go to an area, form a scab, you need it. We all have it. Thank you. Your ladies, Thank you. creation of placenta is angiogenesis. Blood vessels grow create placenta. Menstrual cycle, angiogenesis. Abnormal angiogenesis is when these blood vessels go to a cancer cell. We all have cancer in our body, cells. But if the cancer cell isn't fed through blood vessels, which is the food supply, it can never go into a tumor. If blood vessels can never get to a fat cell to cause obesity, you'll never be obese. So he has proven this, and he's going to continue to prove this. And if you eat, the old adage, you are what you eat. If you eat the right group of foods, there's a lot of things you already know. Green leafy vegetables, lots of mushrooms, dark chicken meat over white chicken meat, which I love because I've been preaching eat dark chicken meat. One, because it tastes better. Two, it's so much cheaper than white chicken meat. There's nothing wrong with chicken breast, but it's like nothing. It's dark chicken meat, there's flavor. <laughs> Um, if you eat the right combination of foods, you can prevent abnormal angiogenesis and therefore never get cancer. That's a huge thing. But check it out. And, and, and hopefully there will be foods readily available that will combine, because we're going to test all these, other, all these amazing foods. Because by the way, we've already tested, green tea is great. Natural uh, uh, fighter uh, anti-angiogenic creation. Earl Grey, also really good. But we combined the two, and those two combined was even a better tea. So we actually we sell, we serve this tea at Blue Ginger, uh, and we'll bring it to market. And that's the coolest thing. So maybe that carrot cauliflower with mushroom is like the super spice. And, and we're, we're currently starting to develop this stuff. But it's so cool. I and mean, people have been curious. There's already 20 designer drugs that use angiogenesis. And these are drugs, though. But can we can one of it by just doing it food. <laughs> so, again, if you learn anything from this thing, at least go there. <laughs> William Lee, no, L.I. Ted.com, uh, Adrian Jensen. It could change your life. Um, and by the way, and the reason I even met Dr. Lee, he's been coming to Blue Ginger for eight years. He finally literally grabbed my arm, was sitting in the patio, and said, we need to talk. I'm like, you are? He goes, oh, my name is Dr. Exactly. William Lee. And he says, look, you, we need to talk tomorrow. I want you first to go home and look at my presentation on Ted.com. It's a 10-minute presentation. And if you see it, I think you're going to call me. And I looked at this presentation, I'm like, possibly, and it's amazing. And uh, because everything based that we always normally serve with blue ginger is what he's been preaching. So a lot of you already eat it. I mean, if you eat it kind of an Asian, East, West, blah, blah, blah style, a lot of that's already great um, for preventing abnormal angiogenesis. Um, I think that's the demo. Did you like my chips, by the way? Yeah. These are really cool. They come with a free picture, guys. I think so. 70% hey. less fat than a potato chip. They're baked, not fried. No, they they sea salt, and this, and this new flavor is okay. sour cream and onion. Multi-grain brown rice. Everyone knows whole grains are good for you, right? They are. 33, 33 chips in a serving, which is a humongous portion or something that's 110 calories, um, and only 25 from fat, which is amazing for a chip. And I told you that they, I do this with Kellogg's, and everybody knows Kellogg's. Er, you're a great, right, Kellogg's? Okay. I'm not a great Tony, sorry. Um, I, the charge of Kellogg's is I need you to make a chip like Lay's. You can't eat just one. And I think they succeeded. I mean, I love these things. I, do they sell them here at your Costco? Yeah, you have Costco's here, right? I, think, I don't know, you tell me? Yeah. No? Well, they better. All right, all you need to do, from here, we're going to go en masse to Costco. <laughs> right, we have these signs ready. You can bring those signs up, say, bring me these chip. Right, and we're going to just protest. We're just doing just 24 hours sitting. All right, you guys help me out? Look, I got to send my boys to college, all right? Help me out. You can have the book, too. Um, but again, these are like the cool things that I, I really enjoy doing, which is one of the reasons I don't have a second restaurant. Uh, I've had Blue Ginger for now 13 years, uh, come, this, come this February. Uh, I'm a one restaurant chef. Even uh, you know, my friends here, Roy, Alan, Morimoto, they all have a little empire. 
and they're laughing to the bank for the most part. Um, this this I find cooler. And if I did have ten reps, I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. I wouldn't. I couldn't do anything with the antigenesis. I wouldn't be able to do anything with food allergy. Uh, and, and it flashes that way. And uh, you know, I think I just think it's it's neat to be able to give back or to do something. Uh, you know, I'm in a position that I cook, and and through cooking, you can always raise a lot of money and aware, awareness, because at any gala, any event, any anything, you need food. And so you can imagine, I mean, I know of every Asian society in this country, because they've all called. I know them all. And, uh, and it's awesome. You know, they're either promote studying Mandarin, and, and my only suggestion too, by the way, if you have children, teach them Mandarin. Forget anything else. Teach your kids Mandarin. If your kids can speak Mandarin and English, they got more than half the world covered. If they can get Spanish in there, they got 80% of the world, because everyone in India speaks English. You have the world covered. If you can speak and communicate with the entire world, you can do anything you want successfully. But learn Chinese, I'm telling you. I mean, and by the way, as my parents say, you know, Polly's accent is better than mine. So you don't have to be Chinese to learn Chinese. You can be anything to learn Chinese. It's a hard language. I'm not going to joke. It's hard. Start him young. Um, it, it's, I just think it's so important. It's just, we're taking over, all right? We're taking over. So, <laughs> you need to know why we're taking over. You need to be able to understand. It's asking us to stop. But you can't, because we're 1.4 billion strong, so be careful. Take it over. It's just, that's just how it is. You maybe disagree, ma'am? Maybe no. they should learn English. Can we get a mic to her, please, guys? There's a mic. Maybe Chinese should learn English, should okay, be throughout the world, should be English. Sorry, I can't hear you. I need you to talk to the mic, I can't hear you. Yeah, the mic? Yes, go ahead. Here, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Okay, I think they should learn English throughout the world, internet, global. Everybody. What, everyone in the world should learn English? Yeah, even Chinese should learn English so can communicate throughout the world. Um, English well, yeah, I mean, everyone in India, I mean, they're all learning, they're all teaching English in China. One billion people, they speak English, so should be international, the global English. Yeah, I mean, English is the world language, just computers are all done in English. So that's just why India is becoming a world power, too. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think, well, I think everyone here speaks English, otherwise, what are you doing to this demo? He's smiled a lot. Um, no, I agree. No, I, think, I, I think you speak good English. It's important. Yes. Um, but Chinese is good, too. And Spanish, too. I mean, this is, you know, let us know. I think it's so important to speak Spanish, uh, especially in my business. I mean, half of my, you know, best people, my cooks, the guys that do a lot of stuff for us, you know, come from Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala. Um, you know, it's, we, <laughs> if you speak Spanish, you can really get people motivated. Uh, it's so important to be able to communicate. Any other questions? Watch it. Where did you learn your Chinese? Were you born here? Or? Um, no, I was born in Newport Beach, California. First generation. But as a child, I used to go to Taipei because my yaya and I, they lived in Taipei. And literally, you know, age one and three and five and seven and whatever. So probably every other summer we go to Taipei. And we just went there to eat. Literally, all I wanted to go is the Shimen Ding and eat the Tsunyu Bing and the Blood Tia Lava, all the wonderful, the Shopping Utah, everything I love to eat. Um, my parents knew that I was going there, and if you, to be able to eat, you need to speak Chinese. Uh, I also went to Gori Zhirba, which is that one school there. Um, and, and, you know, my grandparents spoke Chinese, so when we went to there, we'd speak more Chinese than, than not. Uh, at least, you know, we, we would try to. Um, and. Uh, and then I did live one summer. So when I was 13, I was, I was at a fifth grade level of reading and writing. I, I can't, I, and if you don't practice Chinese, you forget it all. I mean, I can write like tswa tswa, which is bathroom. I can write chicken, ji. <laughs> but it, <laughs> it's my name. Um, but I can, I can speak Chinese. And my dad says, look, if there's anything in my mom you're going to do with Chinese, just make sure you can order food. <laughs> and I actually do, and I remember when I was in Andover, I'd take, you know, dates to Chinatown in Boston. For two reasons, you can buy booze in Chinatown, Boston. And that's pretty cool when you're 17 and 18, right? Um, and I could impress, because my date would think I could be Chinese, because I would ask the waiter for the Chinese menu. It's all in Chinese, right? And so I pick it up, 
and I would look at the waiter and I have a full conversation with her. And she thought I was like, oh.